Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel code for tech solutions. Today in this video, we are going to cover a new topic like how to clone Git repository from GitHub into STS editor. So before we go ahead, if you are new to Git, uh, so I have created some videos on Git like what is Git and GitHub, how to install Git on Windows 11. And if you want to create a GitHub account, I have created one video on that as well. So you, you can refer these videos so that you will have clear cut understanding on Git so that you can create a Git project and uh, upload those on GitHub repository or you can clone the, those from the GitHub repository as well. So now today in this video, we are going to see how we can clone a project which is already there on GitHub. Now this is our sample service uh, repository uh, project which we are going to clone into STS. Now this is our workspace, we can copy it. Now, let me open the STS. Now here we can mention uh, what is our workspace and here we can click on launch button. Now here our STS is opened. Now here as we are going to clone a project from the git. So we can select the file option and here we can see the import option is there. We can click on that and here we have various options. We can select the git and under git we have two options like project from git and projects from git with smart import. So we can select the first option which is project from git and here we can click on next button. Here we have two options existing local repository or, or clone URL. We can select the clone URL, click next. Now, here we need to mention uh, what is Git repository we want to uh, like connect to. Now, here we can copy the Git URL. Now, this is our Git repository. Here to copy the Git URL, we can click on code. And here we have various tabs like under HTTPS. We can copy this URL, which is a Git uh, repo. And here we can paste it. And it will pre-populate all this host and repository path and protocol. And here is the username and password. Uh, reg, uh, now here, let's say if you have not, not if you have not created any token token for this repository, then I will show you how we can create a token. Like here, this token can be used for uploading or pushing the code to the remote repository as well as while cloning it from the remote repository. We can click on setting. Here we can go to developer settings. And here we have various options. We can click on this personal access token and we can create either fine grained token or token uh, classic token. Now I have uh, created fine grained token in my previous video. Uh, which is like up, uh, how to upload a code from STS to uh, GitHub on in that video. I have created fine grained token. Now I will show you how we can create a classic token. Now here you can click on generate new token. Here you can select this generate new token classic. And here you can uh, give a note like uh, what is this token for? This token is for sample service token and we can mention the expiry date like you you can mention seven days or no expiration kind of now let me create it for seven days and here we can select the repo and we can cl click on generate token now we can see we have successfully generated the token now we can copy this come back to it here and here we can paste it and we can click on next button. Now we need to select the um, uh, branch. Right now we have only branch, so we can select it and we can click on next button. And this is the initial branch master and remote name origin. We can click on next. Now here we can uh, see like import existing Eclipse project. So ours is a Spring Boot project, so that is fine. Or you can choose this one, import as a 
general project and we can click on finish button now we can see our project is uh, successfully imported from git uh, remote to git repository now this is a general project if you have imported as a general project you need to convert it to the maven project we can convert it yes now we can see it is converted successfully to the maven project now we can check uh, we can run our project by using run as and here is our spring boot option yes we can see our application is started successfully so with this like we have seen how we can uh, clone or import uh, git repository from remote git uh, repo into hts editor so i hope you must have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching this please like and subscribe the same